Since the dawn of paleontology, one group of animals has always reigned supreme in the public imagination. Dinosaurs. Towering, toothy, and terrifying, they've claimed our movies, games, and nightmares. But what if one of the strangest dinosaurs ever discovered wasn't just a bizarre herbivore, but something more? This is the story of the Rhizinosaurus, the only predator T. rex never saw coming. The Rhizinosaurus coloniformis, one of the most misunderstood dinosaurs in the fossil record, a towering feathered reptile standing over 10 meters tall with claws the size of samurai swords, originally thought to be a turtle, later assumed to be a harmless herbivore. But its anatomy tells a more sinister story. In Jurassic World Dominion, we saw a terrifying glimpse of what this animal could have been, a creature so fearsome that it stood its ground against a Gigantosaurus and won. Paleontologists believe Therizinosaurus was likely a herbivore, built for stripping vegetation. But evolution doesn't play favorites, it adapts. And in a world where predators dominated the land, what if one herbivore evolved into the ultimate ambush predator? Its claws, curved and bladed, were more than gardening tools. They could slash, hook, and disembowel. Combine that with a possible omnivorous diet, excellent hearing, and sharp senses, and you have a creature capable of defending its territory or hunting in silence. In one fossil site, gouge marks matching claw curvature were found near juvenile tyrannosaur bones. Coincidence? Or something more sinister? Therizinosaurus didn't need to run or chase, it simply needed to wait. Some believe it was territorial to the point of aggression, even attacking intruders unprovoked. Fossil evidence suggests that smaller theropods, and possibly even juvenile tyrannosaurs, fell victim to its strikes. It didn't just defend its turf, it may have enjoyed asserting dominance. While most large theropods hunted to feed, Therizinosaurus might have killed for another reason, control. Its massive size and intimidating appearance suggest it wasn't just a passive browser. When threatened or annoyed, it likely lashed out. And in areas where prey was scarce, eliminating competition became a survival tactic. In other words, it didn't kill to eat, it killed to rule. Today we view Therizinosaurus as a strange outlier, a weird evolutionary footnote. But in another version of Earth's history, it was the scythe in the shadows, the apex that never roared, the killer that didn't run, and maybe, just maybe, we're lucky it went extinct. Because if those claws were ever turned toward flesh, not even the king of the dinosaurs would be safe.